So people have been saying that Ash has cheated in the coordination tournament. And I'm here to tell you, no, he did not. <laughs> Ready? Here's why. Now, people are saying that Ash used three gimmicks in the coordination tournament. And I'm here to tell you, why is that a problem? I don't understand why, why, why that's an issue. If, and by the way, props to the, the writers that did this. They did a phenomenal job. That last episode was crazy. Like that had me, that had me the most hyped up ever since like X and Y where like he fought the homie dude from the Charizard Mega Evolution where he, where Greninja was freaking, so yo, that, the animation in this uh, episode was great. But it's a point that Leon wanted to fight Ash at his best. Yes, Ash, Ash, Ash went through the struggles, through everything to learn Mega Evolution, Dynamax, and a Z move. You're with me so far? If Ash was cut any of those gimmicks, he wouldn't have been at his 1000%. Because then, if he wouldn't have those gimmicks and he lost the, the, the coordination tournament, and you guys would say, well, if he had the Z move, he would have won. Or if he had Mega Lucario, he would have won. Or if he Dynamax, he would have won. That's the point that I'm trying to make. It's that he, Ash was 1000% at his best in this tournament. He did what he does best. He learns every gimmick. He learned the gimmicks. He learned how to use the stuff. He even went on a training arc to have Mega Lucario. You know, he went with Greninja so they can synchronize in the auras. What Ash had with Greninja. It's very simple. It's it's extremely simple. All right, so the, the coordination uh, tournament, it's supposed to be for the best trainers at, out of them all. If you were to cut any of these gimmicks out, Ash wouldn't be a, be a better trainer. He wouldn't be the best trainer because he needs the stuff. He learned it. Now, you might be saying, well, Leon only used one. That's because that's all he knew. That's all he knew. He didn't bother to learn Mega Evolution. He didn't bother to go and do a training arc to learn Z moves. See now, if he went and, and, and bothered to do any of this stuff, then, I can, then we can make the argument that, all right, well, you know, everybody was equal, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing, not everybody's equal. <gasps> yes, that's right, guys, nobody's equal. You could be like, for example, I'm not Mr. Beast. You know, Mr. Beast is a beast. I am sort of a beast. I'm trying to get to his level, but that's like me going up against Mr. Beast, and I just so I can have a fair advantage, I tell Mr. Beast, you can't use your teams, you can't use your friends, you can't use anything that makes you great, and you can't use your money. It's like, come on, like at that point, we're just two dudes trying to make videos, you know what I'm saying? And even there, I don't think I'll stand a chance, because that mother flower, he's, he's a good guy, that guy. But anyway, that's what I'm trying to make a point. It's that fact that you went, like Ash, like people, and, and this is where like it, it hits to like home for me because people actually go out of their way to struggle. People actually go out of the way to learn. People actually go out of the way to learn whatever they're doing. For example, I had I have to sort of learn how to like do uh, for this for my specific YouTube channel. I have to learn what makes me good, what makes me bad, what gets you guys to say ah f this guy. I'm out of here. This video you bro i'm out you know and it's like i have to learn that now people already have this formula down people already have their audience i don't i don't i'm trying to see what i want to do and this is what i sort of want to do is talk about sort of life and like anime and how to like close the bridge and also do a lot of gaming stuff so stick around like subscribe and do all that crazy stuff but that's the thing, there will always be somebody trying to learn, trying to do everything better than you would. Leon stopped at Dynamax. Ash went further beyond, you know? He went Super Saiyan 1000 and Leon stayed at Super Saiyan 2, you know? Ash reached Ultra Instinct and he stayed here. You cannot lie that the last moment where it was Charizard versus Pikachu and they were going at it, they were flying around, they were pew pew and they pew pew and a pew 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 and a Pikachu and then the Charles are with, with the flamethrower, you know? They went all out. Like legitimately these two icons of a Pokemon went all out and it was the connection of the Pokemon to their trainers that actually won them the match. This was not, this was a Pokemon battle. 
but it was to see who was more connected to their Pokemon. And I know for a fact that you guys are not blowing out the fact that the writers haven't forgotten about Pidgeot. Yes, Pidgeot gets on Pikachu's flashback. Yo, that was like, that was iconic. I was, yo, I was, as soon as I saw Pidgeot, I started sort of tearing up. I'm like, yo, no, oh my God, no way, Pidgeot. Yo, we're gonna come back for you, my dude. I promise, one day we'll come back for you. And everybody just blew that off. Like, what the heck? Did nobody else see Pidgeot in here? So, and it was this connection between Ash and Pikachu that actually got me going. Because it's finally, 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 Pikachu does something amazing and he pulls through. Because well, most of the time, Pikachu just like gives up. But it was the bond between all of the Pokemon that Ash captured, all of the friendships, all of the bonds that he did with all of his Pokemon. Not only Pikachu was in that fight, it was every single spirit and like willpower and like every single hope for every Pokemon. Greninja, Charizard, Quilava, Pidgeot, Butterfree. You know, every Pokemon that Ash captured was in this and they all gave Pikachu the strength to keep going and that's where it hits. Because it's your family that pushes you forward. It's your family that gets you like, hey man, come on, go, go, go. And if your family doesn't do that for you, man, start telling them to be a little meaner to you. I don't have friends, I got family. Because a family that doesn't want to push you to do greater things in life, like how Pikachu, you know, and, and like Pikachu's family members, his Pokemon homies, pushed him to be like, hey, yo, Pikachu, come on, bro, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do it, you can do it, you can do it, come on, come on, come on. And they don't push you to like, go, to go further beyond. Bro, cut them off now. Like, like, you don't need friends that are like, trying to drag you down, trying to like, you know, mess with your feelings, trying to take your girl, you know? You don't need friends like that. Those friends will bring you down cut them off i don't care if you say oh we've been friends for like 10 years it's toxic and he's getting you nowhere he absolutely doesn't give a damn about you and he's bringing you down you want friends family members that are like ash's pokemon to pikachu where they push you to be better when they tell you things that it might hurt you in the beginning like hey you kind of suck making youtube videos platinum and i'll be like all right cool <laughs> Thanks, what can I do to make it better? You know, stuff like that. Like that that stuff like hits home for me because I would love friends like that. Friends that tell me, hey, why don't you try this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you go this? Why don't you go that? Or or try this? Or why don't here's an idea for you? Or whatever it is. And that, that's that's the friends that you need. That's the family members that you need. And also family members that are gonna be supportive. Now, every single one of those Pokemon could have been like, yo, Pikachu's not gonna pull this off. Pikachu is not going to pull this off. He is not gonna, like, you're weak, you're little, you're, 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 you're trash. Get out of here, Pikachu. But no, his friends were like, no, man, you could do this. You could absolutely do this. You can nail this. You can actually, as a matter of fact, I know you can do it. You just need to find it inside yourself. That's what Pikachu did. He dug inside himself. Ash dug inside himself. He said, we got this. Every single, every single companion that Ash had, knew that he can do this and ash knew that he can do this and it's because of that willpower that power of wanting stuff this is why this amazing scene happened where pikachu gets all hyped up charizard gets all hyped up right now that you're seeing it in the screen and they go and they clash and at the very end pikachu's the last one standing because his friends his family and his most important, his best friend, his companion, his brother, if I might call him Ash's, Pikachu's brother, believed in him and he's like, I got this. It's a wrap for you, Charizard. And Leon, to be honest, I think Leon, um, I think Ash saved Leon because Leon was overpowered. He, 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 he shitted on like, the elite four member, the champion, the runner up champion. Like it's like, like he was overpowered. He couldn't find a challenge. And here comes Ash with his little Pikachu and says, yo, you're about to die, homie. 
not like literally die, but like, yo, you about to get your ass beat, homie. Pikachu, I choose you, you know what I'm saying? And that's where it hits home, man. And this episode was just so great for me. I watched it on the YouTube um, before it got dubbed. Obviously, I'm gonna rewatch it again when, once it gets dubbed on Netflix. That's where you can watch it on Netflix for uh, the American population. But anyway, guys, here's another video if you guys decide to watch it. It's another anime video. I've been Platino. You guys have been awesome. Like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.